Hello and welcome back. Today on the bench is a little board that I've knocked up which uh, will drive the VU meters for the big green amplifier. It's a pretty simple, well I say pretty simple device. It uses two TL074 op amps which is so there's four op amps in each package as it were. This side, as you, as you can see, this is a uh, double sided board. So this side is the power supply and then there's a couple of pots mounted on here and they adjust the gain of the output to the VU meters. So as you can see, as I said, we've got the power supply, we've got decoupling in the form of 200 microfarad electrolytics and 200 nanofarad little ceramic I think the ceramic there's some sort of weird super duper capacitors anyway they're just decoupling the power supply the power supply is a split rail minus 15 plus 15 volts with this being our ground plane if we flip it over so we've got some sort of craziness going on but basically on this side this is all the circuitry uh, all sort of surface mounted and done with the usual Dremel um, type construction which isn't the easiest of things to get right with fiddly close so you know the pins are close and everything and so this has taken me about a day to debug because it didn't work the first time so let's have a look at the circuit. So this is the circuit, drawn pretty badly but I just knocked this up um, this afternoon to try and give me some idea of what, um, you know, how to debug the, the circuit. Here is a basic op amp buffer. We've got a 10 meg to ground, which is probably a bit over the top really. 500k might have been sort of better or even less than that. But this is what I've used in the past and this is what I've used at this point. So there's our input going into a buffer and then this is the BU meter driver circuit proper. Here what we've got is a precision rectifier. So the signal comes in here, not inverted through this first stage here and then comes in here and then these two diodes here basically rectified and because this is an inverting stage what you get here if I just find a pen you get right so you would think wouldn't you that we'd get a positive going sort of waveform here but we don't because it's an inverting stage so what we get is something if the pen works what we get is something like that on this side and then on this side we get the opposite we get a sort of positive going doodah like that and that's fed into this stage here and then this stage inverts that and basically converts the AC signal into a DC signal so then we've got pure DC coming out of here. That then is fed into those pots which you saw mounted on the other side of the board. That pot there is to adjust the gain going to the last stage which is a non-inverting op-amp buffer stage. One thing I haven't drawn in, drawn in there is that there is a resistor, very small resistor, in this case I've used 390 ohms and that goes straight to our VU meters. When I've used this circuit previously before and the reason for this 10 meg resistor is that I took a signal from the first valve stage in a valve amp, so we've got something like this haven't we, goes to ground 
you can see that and so what I've done before obviously that goes on to our next stage but what I've done is take the signal from here and then fed it into there obviously with a decoupling capacitor so that we don't get a high voltage DC on here hence the 10 meg because we have something like what we've got here say this is the 470k something like that what we don't want is to load this stage down because the output impedance of a typical inverting common cathode gain stage is something like let's say it's 20k so because that will be essentially in parallel with that resistor here on the input buffer we want a really big resistor here so that it doesn't weigh down this stage too much but in our case in the in the case with a big green amp we're not going to do that so now I'll show you what we're going to do instead instead of wiring the BU meters from the one of the the first valve stage first input valve stage we're going to wire it into this replacement turn control circuit which is two op amps Rod Elliott circuit and we're going to feed that straight into the BU meters and then from there that also goes out to our first stage of our valve amplifier hope that makes sense like I say it's all got a bit complicated but we're getting there just now got to wire this in although you can already see it wired in this is like a filling video to make sense of the rest of it so that's everything wired in for now some of it temporary as mentioned this front end on both left and right hand channels is just temporary prototyped in at the moment and we've got a lot of wire tidying to do I've also got to change this side back to a 6BG6GA rather than a 606 there wasn't a problem with those 606's they were just under biased hence causing that flash over although one valve only did it so I'm not quite sure exactly whether there is a problem with those valves or not I don't think there is I think I just had them with not enough bias on and then lastly the last bit I've got to do is to wire this VU meter in having built this board here which I mentioned previously I'm going to flip the amplifier around and then we're going to get these VU meters wired in I've got the VU meters in but one of them's got an offset so there could be a wire touching in there or something it's all very uh, tight in there so I'll have to have a look at that here we are again two three four uh, still trying to sort out this VU meter driver board it's definitely in the board not the meters um, so I have gone all over it with yon magnifying glass as mentioned previously I'm sure I've mentioned previously this is the problem with this method of constructing a electronic circuit board using a Dremel to you know cut out the tracks especially on something as close pinned as this op amp circuit it's very easy to get shorts despite me going through and checking and checking and checking as I make it with a meter and everything checking for shorts and what have you when you start soldering yeah little things can happen anyway checked it loads of times can't see what's wrong swapped the um, swapped a that TL074 for a new one same result so we're going to have to be more methodical so here's our 
here's our circuit I think what we've got here we've got a DC somewhere here starting right at the front and so when that passes through the circuit it's say we've got like something like zero say we've got like 500 millivolts here by the time it gets to here it's bigger so I'm going to be methodical and go through and check voltages between the left hand side and the right hand side this side works so we'll take the voltages of the good one do the same with that one compare what I'll also do is take the op amps out and take some um, resistance readings from each of the pins and see what we get so I need to get my notebook out be methodical and break this thing down and try and figure out what the problem is right here we are again as mentioned previously two three four so this has led me a merry dance right so we've got 200 millivolts going in and there's nothing on there but watch what I if I just get my finger so remember this is a double-sided board so we should have a ground there and a ground there right if I put my finger there look see that sort of get a bit of movement on the needle now is my clamp um, my ground to from my signal generator so it looks like we've got a ground issue oh, and that shouldn't be shorting out on that right we're starting to get somewhere now <clears throat> there we go no DC offset and let's see then if we get an input let's try one one's a bit more sensitive than the other one moment get me twiddly screwdriver out oh, how the hell do you do this right what we had there about on the 10 didn't we there so that's what have we got there 200 millivolts amplitude 0.5 volts it's about halfway oh shit amplitude 1 volt right and we're about that's reading 3 db i'm not quite sure if that's right obviously i've got to set it up properly so let's see if that works on the other one yeah not far off right, that's about right for now okay so what was wrong let me just turn this off right what was wrong I made yeah that's right that should do that as it powers down I made a daft mistake we was grounded here and not here so I'd for, um, I thought there was a path from here through to here there wasn't uh, right, anyway never mind off you go right so I'd made a, a cock up there so grounded that side and then the other thing I did I changed the resistors the input resistors going into the input from 10 meg to 1 meg that made the inputs of a lower impedance and hence less sensitive so that was it oh no it wasn't that wasn't just it and then I think probably because I did that one of the TL 074s was buggered uh, this one so that's another dead one so I've killed two in the making of this as mentioned previously yeah this form of construction is dodgy and also like the uh, we get a lot of operator error as well so now that seems to be working oh jeez I'm absolutely buggered been at this all morning so bung it back in the amp and hopefully hopefully we can get the done thing working oh, more later so this video has got it's probably really long by now I don't know I haven't edited it yet so yes it needs bunging in the amp but 
I've had it for today and I've got to go and push bike miles as well. So I think we'll leave it there to be continued as they say. Thanks for watching. Turn out for now. Couldn't leave it there. There they are in the uh, thing. Only just loosely screwed in for the moment. Can't see the lights but maybe that's because it's bright. Where are we? This would be the left channel I think. Sorry for the wobbly camp. Uh, I'm stuck hands with the thing. There we go. They're working. So now we've just got to bung some music in. Although we still got like a bit of an offset here, but I don't know whether that's because they're hanging upside down. Oh, strike a light. I thought we got the done thing sorted. Anyway, that appears to be working. This That's just the front ends in. Now we need to bung some output valves in and we'll talk about that issue with the 606s in the next video. We'll bung some more valves in and let's see if we can get the bugger working. Right, that is sayonara. Thank you all for watching. Take care of yourselves. Ta-da for now.